Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 441 of our trek, and today is Wisdom Wednesday. Every Wednesday along life's trail, we will dig for the nuggets of wisdom that are found in the book of Proverbs. Today, we will explore the second half of chapter 19. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. We had a blessed weekend with family celebrating the birthdays of our youngest granddaughters, Hazel and Grace. Our daughter Janet's birthday was also on Saturday, which we celebrated last weekend when we were in Charlotte. This week, we do have a fairly busy schedule with an interview on Starving the Doubts podcast, working on site with clients, and some additional work in our mix. As I look out our office windows today, although not many of the leaves have started falling from the trees yet at the big house, the temperatures are starting to cool, so it won't be long before the leaf harvest begins. Just like the seasons of the year changes significantly, there are times in our lives where the seasons change significantly. It is important to take advantage of the seasons while they are here so we can be prepared for the future seasons. With these thoughts in mind, if it works out, we plan on having our four Marietta grandkids up for a sleepover on Friday night. The time that we invest with them now, as they are young, is so important. In every season of life, we need to seek wisdom, insight, and understanding. So as we break camp for today's trek, let us explore the nuggets of wisdom found in Proverbs. A character trait that seems to be waning in today's connected environment is that of loyalty. We should be loyal in all areas of our life because loyalty is a commitment, which is tied to honesty. In addition to that, verse 22 tells us, Loyalty makes a person attractive. So let's start our trek today in verse 15. Lazy people sleep soundly, but idleness leaves them hungry. It does seem like people who are lazy also enjoy an inordinate amount of sleep. They do not relate that their choice to be lazy also causes the lack of results in their lives. If a person is unwilling to work and be productive when they should, then their idleness will leave them in poverty and want. Verse 16. Keep the commandments and keep your life. Despising them leads to death. God has set up certain unchangeable laws and precepts that apply to all people, whether they acknowledge God or not. When we follow these precepts, then the results will be very predictable. We will have the rich and satisfying life that God desires for us. If we choose not to follow His precepts, it will lead us down the road of destruction and eventual death. Verse 17. If you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord, and He will repay you. The concept of giving to others out of a pure heart is not understood by many. When we help those who are poor or less fortunate than we are, then it is allowing the resources that God has entrusted to us to flow through us. This will allow us to grow in compassion and mature as a person. We will gain wisdom, insight, and understanding through this. And if that was not enough in itself, one of God's precepts is that He will repay us many times over, both in intangible and tangible ways. Verse number 18, Discipline your children while there is hope, otherwise you will ruin their lives. We all need to be discipled in life and receive discipline to help us to grow and mature. This is especially true of children when they are in their formative years. They are learning values of right and wrong. Disciplining your children will help them to become wise and mature. Discipline can take many forms, and it should be tailored to the individual child. Verse number 19. Hot-tempered people must pay the penalty. If you rescue them once, you will have to do it again. This verse ties in somewhat with the previous one. A hot-tempered person did not learn when they were young that an uncontrolled temper is not acceptable. A person who is habitually hot-tempered will fall into many troubles in their life. Even if you do help them, it will be a recurring theme. They must learn that their bad behavior is not acceptable. Verse number 20. Get all of the advice and instruction you can so that you will be wise the rest of your life. A sign of a truly wise person is that they are always seeking advice and instruction. They are in continual pursuit to learn and gain more wisdom. In doing so, wisdom will become a very part of their nature. Verse number 21. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. We should all prepare and plan, but also realize that our plans need to be in line with God's precepts found in His Word. When they are, our plans will align with God's purpose for us. Sometimes we don't understand what God has planned for us, so that our plans may have to be set aside by God so that His purpose will prevail. Verse number 22. Loyalty makes a person attractive. It is better to be poor than dishonest. Loyalty, faithfulness, and honesty are all tied to the same character trait. If we compromise our integrity through the lack of loyalty, whether it's in marriage, work, or business, then it is the same as being dishonest. 
It would be much better not to have money if you have to be disloyal to gain it. Loyalty truly does make a person more attractive. Verse number 23. Fear of the Lord leads to life, bringing security and protection from harm. Respect and obedience to God will lead to living an abundant life. One of the benefits of this is God will bring us security and protection. Verse number 24. Lazy people take food in their hand, but they don't even lift it to their mouth. It is hard for me to imagine, but I do know that there are some people that are so lazy that they won't even work enough to take care of themselves. Subsidies from government and other organizations tend to foster this for those people who are not ambitious. In this rather humorous analogy in verse 24, I picture a person with a chicken leg in one hand and a loaf of bread in the other, but just doesn't want to exert the effort to lift it to their mouth because they are so lazy. Verse number 25. If you punish a mocker, the simple-minded will learn a lesson. If you correct the wise, they will be all the wiser. Those who are naive, or as they are referred to in this verse, the simple-minded, if receptive, will learn that when they see others who mock God are punished, they will learn themselves. Contrary to this, if you correct a person who is already wise, they will gain more wisdom. Verse number 26. Children who mistreat their father or chase away their mother are an embarrassment and a public disgrace. While we should love and respect all people, this is especially true on how we treat our parents. Just as it is an abomination for parents to mistreat their children, grown children should honor, respect, and love their parents. It is a disgrace to treat them in any other manner. Verse number 27. If you stop listening to instruction, my child, you will turn your back on knowledge. We should always be willing and ready to learn. This applies to children of any age. If you turn away from continual learning, it is the same as turning your back on gaining knowledge and, by default, wisdom. Verse number 28. A corrupt witness makes a mockery of justice. The mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Those who lie in court or other legal battles make a joke of the justice system. A person who is wicked at heart not only enjoys it, they gulp it down like a desperate, thirsty person in a desert. And verse number 29, punishment is made for mockers, and the back of fools are made to be beaten. Those who choose to mock God and his precepts will suffer punishment. They will suffer directly as a result of their foolishness. The nuggets of wisdom that we gathered in verses 15 through 29 of Proverbs 19 provide us more tasty morsels of wisdom, insight, and understanding. Regardless of your faith walk, if the precepts and Proverbs are followed, your life will be rich and satisfying. Take them and plant them in your heart so that you'll reap a harvest of goodness. Tomorrow we will hike another short trail of Wisdom Unplugged where we will discover an inspirational wisdom quote. So encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Now we'll finish our trek for today. Just as you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person when you meet with them and invite them to come along with us each day. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Wisdom Trek so that each day is downloaded to you automatically. The journal for today's trek is available at wisdom-trek.com. I thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.